The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the San Francisco 49ers. It's a rematch of Super Bowl 47 minus one Harbaugh. The Ravens and 49ers are underway. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. He'll rumble for about six up across the 20 to the 22. So second and four from the 22. Now Lamar changing the play. To the right side into the hands of Flowers. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, it turned into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. First and ten, it's Jackson. That's into the hands of Flowers over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now second and five. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Jackson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Flowers. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And finally, they get him to the ground, but it's all the way down at the Niners' 17-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him already. A terrific opening drive on the ground, and it's a first down. Now it looks like they'll move things around here. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Fred Warner. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. So 
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. The last time, everything looked pretty good except that final play on the pick six. And now they've got to come right back out here, Charles, and try to pick up the pieces and get things going again. Yeah, it certainly seems dire, doesn't it? But there is a silver lining, and it is hard to see so soon after that touchdown. But the game plan was definitely working. They were generating offense, had the ball beyond midfield, getting wins on each down against the defense. So they're moving it well. They just have to hang on to it. Yeah, as you said, though, probably tough to remember those good things on that last drive when it ended like it did. Throw caught by Flowers. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Ravens first down. And they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. They get 25 yards out of that one. And it's good enough for a Baltimore first down. Fourth and two, they got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. That ball's caught. Aguilar, right side. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 28. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. That's caught, it's Flowers. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Edwards will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10, at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. And 
And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. They go play action here, Purdy. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job. And Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie. Defense does its job, gets the ball right back. And their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. Third down and one. From the gun, it's Jackson. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Jackson going to change things up a bit. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. On second down, Jackson. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. The Ravens on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. He'll get this to Flowers, left side. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop, is a big momentum play. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. 
We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. And I think this is a situation where quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. After the interception, here's Jackson. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Throwing on second and long. Jackson looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Second and ten. Second and ten at the Ravens 47 yard line. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And this play is going nowhere as he dives to the ground behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And the Ravens will take over here just shy of the 30. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how. Here's a diving catch right side. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. That one into the hands of Flowers. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. This is second and eight. Now it's Jackson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And with one second left, they get the timeout, and they'll have a chance to kick the field goal before intermission. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 the score as we resume action on EA Sports. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further.
The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As they begin their second half here, Charles offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're loot. Taking it right down Broadway. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The first play of the second half, a big success over 30 yards. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Ayuk going to go in motion right. Here's a fake on the Jets. Sweep and now off play action. It's Purdy. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Touchdown, 49ers! Debo Samuel, 54 yards. And the 49ers have retaken a third-quarter lead. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, but as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. First target, first catch, and a first down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Purdy now to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. 
Picked off by Talanoa Hufanga. And the Niners are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. Here's Purdy. Oh, he'll take a shot for McCaffrey downfield. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Purdy off the play fake. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Now it's a former Raven. This is Kyle Juszczyk. Now he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Purdy on fourth down. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a 49ers first down. And they get it easily. A gain of five on fourth and one. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. Shifts by him. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Purdy looking to throw. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points. Go by the wayside on that one. That's complete out left to Ayuk. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. McCaffrey will get into the end zone for a 49er touchdown. Well, we talked a lot about Christian McCaffrey and what he can do in the open field, and it's easy to gloss over how tough he can be to stop near the goal line. And he shows you just how tough he is on that carry as he takes it into the end zone.
Now Moody for the PAT. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And quickly, they get to the line. From the gun, Jackson. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It was Jadavian Clowney who got upfield for the stop. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Niners on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. Here it's third and two. The throwing here, Purdy. And that is incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Purdy. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he is going to have the Niners first down as they'll wind up getting the yards they needed on fourth and three. It'll be a pickup of four. And it'll be first down 49ers. McCaffrey on the counter. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Now Purdy. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. 
So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to throw. Purdy got a man. That's Ayuk. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. That one looks like he'll throw here. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Roquan Smith gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Third and eight. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Kyle Shanahan's made the decision. They're going on fourth down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Fred Warner. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. Well, partner, they've used him quite well out of the backfield in this one, and here's another nice example. They set up the screen, and he's able to pick his way downfield for a nice game there. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.